Hey guys, this is here, and today we are going to be reacting to the first official trailer for Blue Beetle. This is the upcoming DC uh, EU slash DC Universe movie. Actually, okay, so here's where I think we're at right now. The Flash is going to reset the DC Universe into the new DC EU, and this movie is coming after The Flash. So according to how James Gunn has described it, this will be in the new DC universe, I think. <laughs> but uh, if it flops, it, they'll probably just scoot it off to the side and pretend it never happened. But either way, I'm pretty interested in this because if you'll remember, this movie was originally a um, an HBO, like a straight to HBO Max movie like Batgirl was going to be. But the studio thought that it was so good that they decided to give it like a proper theatrical release. I think they raised the budget a bit to like make the CGI a bit better as well. So I, I'm curious. Um, let's let's see what happens. Let's hit play. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is is he like an intern or something? Thought that was a Mr. Beast burger. <laughs> Who was that that gave it to him? What? Huh. Interesting that, interesting that his entire family is like witnessing all of this because usually the superhero trope is that he like gets the suit and then he has to keep it a secret, which is like everybody knows about it. Cool. I think the suit looks really cool. Yeah, why did she give it to him? It's designed to protect its host. Sometimes it does what you want, and sometimes it doesn't. This is unrealistic. Somebody should have died in that altercation. I, I think I cut a bus in half. The scarab chose you, but it belongs to me. Uh, okay. You feel for your family. Makes you weak. That is a very stereotypical line, but I'll move past it. The universe has sent you a gift. Whatever you can imagine, I can create. Let's party. Oh, so there's like a bit of like a green Green Lantern thing going on. Okay. It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. Okay. Yeah, that that looks pretty pretty cute. Um I'm not I'm not wowed by it. Like like I'm not like after watching this trailer, I'm not necessarily getting why the studios were like this is so good. We got to put it out in theaters. It can't just be an HBO Max movie. Um but it but it looks fun. All right. I uh I'll try and see if I can figure out some easter eggs, but like I don't know that much about Blue Beetle. So, I will say, I think that, um, like, I, I've i been, like, kind of a fan, I guess, of Blue Beetle, because I've seen him in a lot of, like, the animated stuff, like Batman the Brave and the Bold, and, you know, stuff like that. Um, 
So I was definitely interested in it. I really love um, Jolo Marty Duena. Um, that's this actor. If if you haven't, I, I mean, Cobra Kai is a massive show, so I'm sure everybody knows who he is. But yeah, he's in Cobra Kai, and I think he's really great in that show. And I, I don't know. I, I feel like this really is going to be like this role is probably going to propel him into like stardom. I would imagine. So yeah, I'm. So I guess. Um, I'm not sure because I think Blue Beetle in his origins, he's always like a teenager. At least this iteration of Blue Beetle, right? Like the 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 Jaime Reyes iteration. Um, but it looks like he has like a job, so he might be more of a young adult. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is his sister. Also, this is like, <laughs> did his family like come to his job <laughs> to like cheer him on? They don't get out much. <laughs> okay, interesting. Yeah, I'm just curious to see why this person gave him the the scarab. Okay. That is an Easter egg I do realize. I originally thought it was a Mr. Beast burger. <laughs> um, but Big Belly Burger is like a franchise within the DC universe. Um, so that's cute. Also, I like that George Lopez's character. He seems like a like a hippie, kind of. Because um, there's that ending line in the trailer where he calls Batman a fascist. And he has like his fingernails painted, so... I guess he's like Hasanabi if Hasanabi didn't fall backwards into Twitch streaming. How did you think it to do that? I think he likes me. Yeah, I like how I like how scary <laughs> this kind of looks. <laughs> yeah, it's like kind of horrifying. <laughs> it almost looks like Venom. Venom. Venom, 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 Venom. It's a great song, isn't it? The suit looks dope. I, I really like the suit. It looks like a really good mix of practical and, uh, and CGI. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's a really cool, um, I think it's just like a really cool, uh, weapon that like, yeah, because from, from what I remember from the cartoons that I've seen is that the, this, the scarab is, has like a mind of its own. It's like sentient. So, and yeah, it's like, it's like she said, like he will do whatever the scarab will do, like whatever it has to do to perfect, per, protect Jaime. So like it has no problem killing people and stuff. So I think Jaime like is, is like constantly having to like hold the scarab back, you know, so that it doesn't just go around killing people. Sometimes it does what you want and sometimes it doesn't. I, I, I think I cut a bus in half. The scarab chose you, but it belongs to me. So I guess, oh, you know what? I think I remember reading an article where this lady is the villain. Um... Oh man, you know now I'm remembering the articles. So I think she's like the husband of, or the sorry, the wife of Ted Cord, and I think Ted Cord is like a is like a rich inventor, kind of like a Tony Stark character. Um, and I think if I remember correctly, Ted Cord was like in the comics. He was like the original Blue Beetle. But he was more of like his blue beetle suit was more of like an Iron Man suit that he invented himself. I think I, I, that could all be wrong, so I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> but yeah, it makes sense that she, um, she would like want that the scarab to her to herself. Hello, you feel for your family. Makes you weak. Who is is this? I have no idea who this villain is. It's like this is not Craven. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's a cool scene. Yeah, well, that's the thing, too. It's like, okay, they, they have, like, this Blue Beetle ship, but it's like... It makes me wonder if Ted Kord is going to be involved somehow. Because, um, yeah, in the in the comics, I believe, like, Ted Kord mentors, mentors Jaime as well. Because it's like, that's... I don't think that the Scarab can just, like, make a ship. I don't think. The universe has sent you a gift, and you have to figure out what you're going to do with it. That's fine. One, two, three, four, four, five, five. Whatever you can imagine, I can create. Let's party. Oh, yeah! Nice choice. I just want to yeah, I think I think this looks fun. Um, I think the one thing that might end up being just a little, little, a little cringe, a little cringe, is the whole family aspect. Cause you see that, like, you you saw in like the ship, um, that. Let's see, I think. Uh. Yeah, like the entire family is like in the ship, and they're all like, they have guns in their hands, so it's like. I feel like if we end up getting scenes of, like, the grandma shooting people, it might end up being just a little bit cringe, because it's, like, that, that's kind of, like, one of the parts about the Shazam movie as well, that kind of just, like, deflates everything a little bit, is that, like, when the entire family just has Superman powers, and they were all involved, it made, it, it, it just, it makes it a lot harder for you to really, um create a compelling narrative around all of the characters i felt like at least so i hope this movie doesn't fall into that same trap maybe they just handle the premise a bit better with you know like i said the entire family being involved but we'll see like it, it could come off as a little bit like uh like childish the universe has sent you a gift and you have to figure out what you're gonna do with it That's fine. One, two, i can create yeah. nice choice okay I think it was a, there was like a little end stinger, if I remember. Oh yeah, this part. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't know. We'll we'll see how that George Lopez character goes, because it's like he could either end up being like a funny, endearing character, or he could be like an annoying SJW kind of character. And I know that they're going for him for him being an annoying SJW character. But it could also end up coming off as just cringe and not like cringe in a funny way, but cringe in a cringe way. If that makes sense. I'm, I'm a little. Well, we'll see how that goes. Also, hey, listen, I, I am. I really like that they've been. Um, uh, that they've been advertising comic books at the end of their trailers. I don't know. That's just a really cool decision. But uh, yeah, that was the trailer for Blue Beetle. Yeah, I I think it looks good. I'm n I don't think it looks great. Um, I'm still a little confused as to like I'm not seeing the necess the necessity of this being a theatrical release yet. I could get there, but I'm not seeing it yet. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.